Director Mueller, the President has repeatedly claimed that your report found there was no obstruction and that it completely and totally exonerated him. But that is not what your report said, is it? Correct. That is not what the report said. And now, reading from page two of volume two of your report that's on the screen, you wrote, quote, if we had confidence after a thorough investigation of the facts that the president clearly did not commit obstruction of justice, we would so state. Based on the facts and the applicable legal standards, however, we are unable to reach that judgment, close quote. Now, does that say there was no obstruction? No. In fact, you were actually unable to conclude the president did not commit obstruction of justice. Is that correct? Well, we, uh, uh, at the outset, uh, determined that we, uh, when it came to the, uh, the, the president's culpability, uh, we, needed to, uh, we, needed, we needed to go forward only after taking into account the OLC opinion that indicated that a president, a sitting president, cannot be uh, indicted. So the report did not conclude that he did not commit obstruction of justice. Is that correct? That is correct. And what about total exoneration? Did you actually totally exonerate the president? No. Now, in fact, your reports expressly states that it does not exonerate the president. It does. And your investigation actually found, quote, multiple acts by the president that were capable of exerting undue influence over law enforcement investigations, including the Russian interference and obstruction investigations. Is that correct? Correct. Now, Director Mueller, can you explain in plain terms what that finding means so the American people can understand it? Well, uh, the finding I indicates that uh, the president uh, uh, was not, uh, uh, that the president was not exculpa uh, exculpated uh, for the acts that uh, he allegedly committed. In fact, you were talking about incidents, quote, in which the president sought to use his official power outside of usual channels, unquote, to exert undue influence over your investigations. Is that right? That's correct. Now, am I correct that on page seven of volume two of your report, you wrote, quote, the president became aware that his own conduct was being investigated in an obstruction of justice inquiry. At that point, the president engaged in a second phase of conduct involving public attacks on the investigation, non-public efforts to control it, and efforts in both public and private to encourage witnesses not to cooperate with the investigation, close quote. So President Trump's efforts to exert undue influence over your investigation intensified after the president became aware that he personally was being investigated? I stick with the language that you have in front of you. Which? Which okay. comes from page seven, volume two. Now, is it correct that if you concluded that the president committed the crime of obstruction, you could not publicly state that in your report or here today? Can you repeat the question, sir? Is it correct that if you had concluded that the president committed the crime of obstruction, you could not publicly state that in your report or here today? Well, I would say uh, you, uh, I could, uh, the statement would be the, the, that you would not indict and you would not indict because uh, under the OLC opinion, uh, a sitting president, <coughs> excuse me, cannot be indicted, be unconstitutional. Okay. So you could not state that because of the OLC opinion, if that would have been your conclusion? O OLC opinion uh, uh, was some guide, yes. But under DOJ, under Department of Justice policy, the president could be prosecuted for obstruction of justice crimes after he leaves office, is correct? True. Thank you. Did any senior White House official refuse a request to be interviewed by you and your team? I don't believe so. President. Well, I take, uh, let me take uh, that back. I, I would have to look at it, but I'm not certain that that was the case. Did the president refuse the request to be interviewed by you and your team? Yes. Yes. And is it true that you tried for more than a year to secure an interview with the president? Yes. And is it true that you and your team advised the president's lawyer that, quote, an interview with the president is vital to our investigation, close yes. quote? Yes. And is it true that you also St quote, stated that it is in the interest of the presidency and the public for an interview to take place, close quote? Yes. But the president still refused to sit for an interview by you or your team? True. True. 
And did you also ask him to provide written answers to questions on the 10 possible episodes of obstruction of justice crimes involving him? Yes. Did he provide any answers to a single question about whether he engaged in obstruction of justice crimes? I would have to check on that. I'm not certain. Director Mueller, we are grateful that you are here to explain your investigation and findings. Having reviewed your work, I believe anyone else who would engage in the conduct described in your report would have been criminally prosecuted. Your work is vitally important to this committee and the American people because no one is above the law. Um, I'll, now re I'll now recognize the uh, gentleman from Georgia, Mr. Collins. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. And we're moving, I know, understand, and just reiterating the five minute rule. Mr. Mueller, I have several questions, many of which that you just answered will be con uh, questioned here in a moment, but I want to lay some foundation. So we'll go through these fairly quickly. I'll, I'll talk slowly. I'm said that I talk fast. I will talk slowly. Thank you, sir. In your press conference, you stated any testimony from your office would not go beyond our report. We chose these words carefully. The work speaks for itself. I would not provide information beyond that which is already public in any appearance before Congress. Do you stand by that statement? Yes. Since closing the special counsel's office in May of 2019, have you conducted any additional interviews or obtained any new information in your role as special counsel? In the, in the, in the wake of the report? Since the, since the closing of the office in May of 2019. And uh, the question was... Have you conducted any, any new interviews and any new witnesses, no. anything? And you can confirm you're no longer special counsel, correct? I am no longer special counsel. At any time of the investigation, was your investigation curtailed or, curtailed or stopped or hindered? No. Were you or your team provided any questions by members of Congress of the majority ahead of your hearing today? No. Your report states that your investigative team included 19 lawyers and approximately 40 FBI agents and analysts and accountants. Are those numbers accurate? Uh, could you repeat that, please? 40 FBI agents, 19 lawyers, intelligence analysts, and forensic accountants. Are those numbers accurate? This was Generally, included in yes. your report. Generally, yes. Is it also true that you issued over 2,800 subpoenas, executed nearly 500 search warrants, obtained more than 230 orders for communication records, and 50 pen registers? Uh, that went a little fast for me. Okay. In your report, I'll make this very simple. You did a lot of work, correct? Yes, that I agree to. A lot of subpoenas, a lot of pen registers. A lot of subpoenas. Yes. Okay, we'll walk this really slow if we need to. A lot of to. search warrants. That's a... All right, a lot of search warrants, a lot of things. So you're very thorough. You what? In your opinion, very thorough. You listed yes. this out in your yes. report, correct? Yes. Yes. Thank you. Is it true the evidence gathered during your investigation, uh, given the questions that you have just answered, is it true the evidence gathered during your investigation did not establish that the president was involved in the underlying crime related to Russian election interference as stated in volume one, page seven? We found uh, insufficient uh, evidence of uh, uh, the president's cul culpability uh, so that would be a yes. With that, I'm pardon? That would be a yes. Yes. That's, thank you. Isn't it true the evidence did not establish that the president or those close to him were involved in the charged Russian computer hacking or active measure conspiracies or that the president otherwise had unlawful relationships with any Russian official? Volume 2, page 76. Correct? I, I uh, leave the answer to the, uh, our report. So it was a yes. Is that any true? Your investigation did not establish that members of the Trump campaign conspired or coordinated with Russian government in the election interference activity. Volume one, page two, volume one, page 173. Thank you, yes. Yes, thank you. Although your report states collusion is not so specific offense, and you've said that this morning, or a term of art in federal criminal law, conspiracy is, in the colloquial context, are collusion and conspiracy essentially synonymous terms? You're going to have to repeat that for me. Collusion is not a specific offense or a term of art in the federal criminal law. Conspiracy is. Yes. In the colloquial context, known public context, collusion, collusion and conspiracy are essentially synonymous terms, correct? No. If no, on page 180 of volume one of your report, you wrote, as defined in legal dictionaries, collusion is largely synonymous with conspiracy as that crime is set forth in the general federal conspiracy statute, 18 U.S.C. 371. And you said at your May 29th press conference and here today, you choose your words carefully. Are you sitting here today testifying something different than what your report states? Well, what I'm asking is if you can give me the citation, I can look at the citation and... Uh, evaluate whether it is. Accurate. Okay, let me just be clarified. You stated that you would stay within the report. I just stated your report back to you. And you said that collusion, collusion and conspiracy were not synonymous terms. That was your answer was no. That's 
That's correct. In that, page 180 of volume one of your report, it says, as defined in legal dictionaries, collusion is largely synonymous with conspiracy as that crime is set forth in general conspiracy statute 18 U.S.C. 371. Now, you exactly. said you chose your words carefully. Are you contradicting your report right now? Not when I read it. So you would change your answer to no, yes then? No. The, uh, if you look at the language. I'm reading your report, sir. It's yeah, a yes or no page, answer. Page 180. Page 180, volume one. Okay. This was from your report. Correct. And I, uh, I, I, uh, I leave it with the uh, report. So the report says, yes, they are synonymous. Yes. Hopefully for finally, out of your own report, we can put to bed the collusion and conspiracy. One last question as we're going through. Did you ever look into other in countries investigated in the Russian uh, interference into our election? Were other countries investigated or found knowledge that they I, had I, interference in our election? I'm not going to discuss uh, other matters. That I yield back.